Hi guys, I'm Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to make a pecan pie cheesecake. This is going to be a pecan pie on the bottom and a cheesecake top on the top. Why wouldn't you want that? That is so good, very delicious and I know you will love it. So let's get started. So guys, to make the graham cracker crust, I have here some graham cracker crumbs and some sugar and I'm going to mix it together and I'm going to add some melted butter and I'm going to mix everything together until it resembles wet sand. Once it resembles wet sand, I'm going to add into my 10 inch spring form pan and using my hands, I'm going to press it down until I cover the whole surface and after that, you're going to place it into the fridge until you're ready to use it. Now we're going to work in the pecan filling. So in a saucepan, I'm going to add my chopped pecans, my eggs, I'm going to add my melted butter, my vanilla extract, my salt, light corn syrup, my sugar, and I'm going to mix that all together until nice and smooth and I'm going to turn the heat on to medium and I'm going to cook it for 8 to 10 minutes or until the mixture look nice and gooey and thick just like this once the mixture looks like that even about 8 minutes I'm going to set it I'm going to add this mixture into my prepared crust I'm going to smooth it out making sure I cover everything and I'm going to set it aside and now we're going to be ready to work in our cheesecake in the bowl my stand mixer with a powder attached I'm going to beat my cream cheese on its own for about 3 minutes after 3 minutes I'm going to go ahead with a spatula and scrape the bottom and the sides of the bowl to make sure the cream cheese is nice and mixed well I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar and I'm going to mix it until it's nice and fluffy. Make sure the sugar is well mixed with the cream cheese. Once it's nice and smooth, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs one at a time. Give your ball a nice scrape here and there to make sure you have everything well mixed. Once everything is nice and well mixed, I'm going to add my heavy cream and my pure vanilla extract, my salt, and mix it until the mixture thickens. That will take about 3 minutes. Once the mixture is nice and thick, you're going to go ahead and pour it on top of your pecan mixture here. We're going to bake this at a 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour. And after 1 hour, you're going to let it rest for in the fridge for about 4 hours or overnight and after 4 hours this my cheesecake looks I let it I let it first I let it cool for 1 hour outside then I put it in the fridge for 4 hours and now I'm just going to top it with some whipped cream and I'm going to top it with with some toasted pecans this is optional but I like how it looks and that is it So guys, I just cut myself a piece and as you can see we have the pecan pie on the bottom and we have the creamy and delicious cheesecake on the top. It looks gorgeous and I think you will love this. So guys, I have eaten a fair share of this already. It is so good. We have the lovely pecan pie on the bottom, nice and, nice and gooey, delicious. We have the, the soft cheesecake on the top. Now with the whipped cream, it makes a perfect complement. It is absolutely amazing. I know you will love this. Well, if you love cheesecake and pecan pie, this is what you're looking for. Don't look somewhere else. I don't know what to say. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. And if you want to give it a try it out, 
check the description box I, I have all the ingredients in there and please try it and if you do let me know how you like it and until next time bye bye